Fred McKinnon. I want to thank y'all for that great reception. It was unexpected. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, before I get started, I want to say um, I've had the pleasure to work with your family members, friends, coworkers, moms, dads, brothers and sisters for the last seven weeks, and it's been an honor and a pleasure to work with them. Like Sam said, we're not here to produce comedians, we're here to produce leaders. And it's been my pleasure um, to work with them. So can we give them a round of applause? to the jokes. I don't start working when you first get your job either, so I'm still like working. Um, but no, it's my honor and pleasure to do this. One of the things I do at all the shows is to keep the energy level high. I need you guys to help me participate in this. When I say, are you guys ready for your next comedian? I need you guys to say, yes, we support our vets. Are you guys ready for your next comedian? Yes, we support our vets. Okay, so we're going to do that throughout the show just to make sure that the energy level remains high for every performer, regardless of who you came to see. Okay, can we agree on that? Yeah. All right, now I'm off break, I'll get to the joke. Um, per my contract, I have to do a joke every time I touch the microphone in order for me to get paid, so I'm not on about part of the contract. I want to thank ASAP for the accommodations. Um, they flew me in um, to tonight's show. I didn't think I was going to make it. I'm very grateful that they paid money to fly me in. The only problem is they said when they were going to fly me, I said, what airline? They said, we're going to put you on the Lord's airline. I said, what's the Lord's name? And they said, Spirit. I said, Lord Jesus, I thought y'all loved me. I would put my enemies on Spirit. <laughs> and then they're going to fly me out of Richmond. Tonight's show is in Virginia Beach. The only problem is I live in Suffolk. I had to ride out here to get to the airport. <laughs> when I get to the airport, I realize Spirit is not a reputable airline. I get my boarding pass, ma'am. I go through security. I'm trying to find my gate. Most reputable airline service has a recognizable gate like A5 or B12. My board pass said RDB. I had never heard of it RDB before. I walked around 45 minutes trying to find RDB until finally I did something that most men don't do. I had to ask for help. I said, ma'am, I don't want to miss my flight to the Sandler Center, but I can't find RDB. Can you tell me what it is? She gonna tell me that means round the back. Round the back. No, because I've never been round the back. I didn't know how to get round the back. So being a military person, I went round the back. Ma'am, I get on the flight, five minutes into the flight, the plane starts shaking. The pilot came on the intercom and said, don't be alarmed, we experienced with turbulence. Fasten your seatbelts. Fasten my seatbelts. Family, 10 minutes later, sir, the plane starts shaking so much oxygen mass fell from the ceiling. All the passengers wanted to hold hands in prayer. I don't know their spirituality, so I said my own prayer. I said, Lord, number one, don't let me down, you're ill. You know. <laughs> number two, I said, give me a sign that we're going to be okay. And the Lord spoke to me. He said, Fred, look out the window. I said, Lord, I don't have the strength to open up this window, look out and see this plane going down and crashing. I can't do that. He said it a second time. He said, Fred, look out the window. I said, Lord, I love you and I serve you, but I cannot look out this window and see this plane going down. He said, if you love me, then don't deny me three times like Peter. Now look out the window. Family, I opened up the window. She said, Lord Jesus, we were not even in the air. <laughs> we was on 64 in HOV lane. I said, you know what? <laughs> I'm never going to fly spirit again. 